Hope you enjoyed watching part A of this AutoCAD training video series for land surveyors. This is part B, video number one. In this part of the video, we are going to learn how to plot surveyed UTM coordinates. It is assumed that we have surveyed a plot of land bounded by six points as displayed on your screen. And we have calculated or computed their coordinate value in eastern and northern as displayed on your screen. So at the end of this video, we are going to use AutoCAD to plot this UTM coordinates and we are going to plot the area as seen on your screen from point 0.1 to point 0.2 to point 0.3, 4, 5, 6. So in order to achieve this, the first thing you do is to launch your AutoCAD application. After launching your fresh AutoCAD window, you will set your unit for the drawing. So you go to the format menu and then select unit. So from the length type, you select decimal. And from the precision, you select three decimal places. Then the unit is always in meters, except otherwise. Then the angle type, it should be degree, minute, and second. Precision should be degree, minute, and second. Then the angle rotation. Usually our angle rotation is clockwise, so you check clockwise. Then the direction. Our base angle usually starts from the north. So you select north and click on OK. Click on OK to apply your setting changes. So after setting your units, the next thing you would like to do is to save this particular drawing by going to the file menu and then select save or you can simply hit ctrl s on your keyboard so i will navigate to the folder where i want to save my drawing this time around i wish to save it on the desktop inside the desktop folder inside this folder js tutorials then inside autocad so and then I will name, name my drawing. This time around, I will name my drawing as drawing one. So I'll click on save. You can actually put any name you want. So I have been able to save my drawing and I have been able to change the unit of my drawing. So in order for me to plot this coordinate, in AutoCAD. There is a general syntax used in plotting UTM coordinates in AutoCAD. And the syntax is by typing on the command line the eastern value, comma, the northern value, then you press enter on your keyboard for the first point. Then for the second point two, you type the eastern value, comma, the northern value, and press enter on your keyboard continuously until when you have covered the whole points you have to plot. Let me show you what I'm talking about on a Microsoft Word document. This is what you are going to type on the command line after picking your drawing tool. You type Eastin, comma, the northern value of a point. For example, the point one, if you are going to plot, plot point one, you are going to type the Eastin value of point one, comma, then the northern value of point one, then press enter on your keyboard to plot that particular point. So let's switch back to our, our AutoCAD to plot our coordinate, UTM coordinate point. So in order to plot UTM coordinates in AutoCAD, you can actually use the circle command to plot your point, or you can use your point command to plot your point. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use the point command to plot my surveyed UTM coordinates. So to do so, I'll first of all adjust my settings 
for the point style. So I'll go to the format menu and then select point style. Then I'll select this particular point style and then I'll set the size of the point to absolute unit. Select absolute unit and then I'll leave it on five units. Then I'll click on OK. So I've adjusted my point setting. So the next thing I'll do is to plot the first point. So in order for me to plot the first point, since I'm using the point command to plot my first point, I'll pick my point. Then on the line, I'll type the eastern value command, the northern value. So I'll type on the command line eastern value, comma. Then I'll also type this northern value for the point, for the first point, comma the northern value. Then I'll hit on enter on the on my keyboard. So I've successfully plot point one. But it's not appearing on my screen. Why? Because the coordinate environment is not to my screen view. So the next thing I will do for me to see that particular point I've plotted is to terminate this the point command and then zoom to extent by pressing Z on my keyboard on the command line and then I'll hit enter, then I will press E on the command line and then hit enter. To zoom the point to my screen view so this is the point on my screen view this is point one so the next thing i'll do is to plot the second point i'll click or pick my point command then type on the command line the eastern value of the second point comma the northern value of the second point comma the northern value of the second point and then press enter this is the second point. Then I'll do the same thing for the third point. Eastern value. I will type the eastern value on the command line, comma, the nodding on the command line, and then press enter on my keyboard. I'll repeat the same thing for the fourth point. I'll type the eastern value, comma, the nodding value. On my command line and press enter. I will do the same thing for the fifth point. I will type the eastern value, comma, the northern value, and then press enter on my keyboard. Then I will do the same thing for the sixth point. I will type the eastern value, comma, the northern value on my command line and press enter on the keyboard so i've successfully plotted the six points so now i will still repeat zoom to extent to see all the six points on my screen view i will type z on the command line and then hit enter then type e on the command line and hit enter to zoom all the six points to my screen view so can you see these are the six survey points on my screen view if i wish to join the points together I'll pick my line command and join the six point together starting from the first point. This is the first point. So note that in order for you to snap to the midpoint, your O snap has to be active. So I'll on my O snap and then I'll make sure I'll, I'll after on the O snap, if you cannot still find the center, make sure you, uh, you right click on the O snap command and then select settings then make sure all of these options all of these OSNA option rules are checked and then hit on OK so make sure that I'm clicking on the center to join the six points together using the line command So I've successfully plotted my six point, which pretty much look the same to what we have here. So you can see this is the plotted area, and we have the same shape in the AutoCAD environment. So with this, I'll be able to cover the purpose of this video tutorial. If you have any question or you need more help or any, you need 
more tutorial feel free to contact me using my json phone number or you can visit my website for more information our next video will be plotting bearings at distance see you then have a nice day